What's up YouTube, it's D-Man10 here, and today I'll be showing you how to save your SHSH files on 4.1 or 4.2 software. Um, this works for all other firmwares, but um, I'm, basic I'm basically just going to uh, concentrate on these two firmwares since they're brand new and people don't know much about them yet. Um, so there's actually two ways of doing this. You can do it without a computer or with a computer. Um, now the program you use with the computer is um what's called Tiny Umbrella. It's an SHSH files or blob saver. Come on. There we go. Alright. So once Tiny Umbrella opens, um it's gonna show your connect devices that you have connected to your computer. And now you can see down here I have the 3.1.2, 4.0, 4.0.2, and 4.1 saved. I don't have 4.1.2 or 4.2 saved yet. Um, sorry, 4.2 or 4.1 saved yet um, on the computer because I wanted to do it um, just for this video for educational purposes. So once it see it recognizes what firmware you have on your device. And um, you can just hit save, and what it will do is actually save any um, firmware that firmware versions of your SH SH blobs. Um, it can grab from Cydia, so like uh, any any firmware that's close to it um, will be saved. So say like 4.1 will be saved. You're saving 4.2.1. So um, it's actually pretty cool. Um, now I did discuss before there's two ways to do it wirelessly and wired. Um I like to do it wired because it does actually back up the file to your computer. I don't know if that has any effect on it or anything, but I uh, I just keep a folder like that. But see, now you can see now it saved the 4.2.1 which I didn't have before, but now it just saved 4.2 beta 3, which I don't have. I don't think anyone has really right now except for developers. Which is cool because if I did want to update to that beta and it was laggy or wasn't working, I can downgrade to any of these firmwares, which is cool. So this is just finishing up now. You can also go into advanced options and um, request it from Cydia, or you don't have to. You can uncheck that if you're not jailbroken, and it'll get it from your Apple device itself, not just Cydia. But I am jailbroken, so it's fetching it from Cydia and the Apple server. Also, I haven't mentioned, um, while this is finishing up, I do have another channel I started. Um, I started vlogging. Uh, it's not very good. My first vlog's not very good. But I did film my second vlog. I didn't put it up yet. But, uh, if you guys would just check it out, it's down below. And I also will have Tiny Umbrella down in the description and the firmware, um, site. Uh, Felix Bruns down in the description also if you need to download a firmware to update. But uh, if you guys can check out that channel for me, that'd be great. Um, I'm going to be posting uh, videos every week. Um, some videos are going to be from work, like me and my friends fooling around at work. Um, they're going to be pretty funny, and I have like good ideas lined up. And then others are just going to be blogs, like uh, walking around my house or walking somewhere and letting you know what's going on. Alright, so it's all finished. The device is connected, it says, so it's all finished saving. And now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 uh, firmware saved, or SH, SH files saved. Um, now, also an interesting thing, um, if you wanted to restore your device and Apple, like iTunes, kept failing, you could start this TSS server. And this TS server will run. So if you open up iTunes, and when it recognizes your iPod, I don't want to sync right now. Thank you, iTunes. Appreciate it. Um, if you would do option restore, and it you would go browse for your firmware. So I do like four. If I want to downgrade to four point one, and it wasn't letting you. You can run that server, and um, it'll override iTunes and let you um, restore no matter what, as long as the server's running. And once you're done, just hit stop server, and it's done. So now I'm going to show you on my uh, 
my device what you have to do so you're gonna want to open up Cydia on here this is on 4.2.1 software just let Cydia load I don't know how close you need to get to okay uh, I don't need to download anything right now. Okay. So now on the bottom here, you're going to go to search. And you're going to search up in this keyword. I. S. H. S. H. It. I'll have that down in the description for you. I. S. H. S. H. It. And you're going to select the one from Big Boss if you have other um, sources. And you're gonna tap install in the corner. It's gonna ask you if you want to confirm the download. You're gonna hit confirm, and it's gonna start to download. So again, this is the app you need if you're gonna do it wirelessly. And I'll, I'll unplug my device right now. So now it's not connected to the computer. You can see my computer screen is not connected at all. See? No connected devices. Okay, return to Cydia. And you can just tap the home button. And now you can scroll over till you get to ISHSH it. And now here it gives you advanced options. It gives you um, your chip number your or your chip ID that your device is, everyone's different. And you could select the firmware that you want to save. Now, it tells you all these firmwares that you could save, which is cool. Um, and they had 3.1 here, and I've never had that saved. And they also have 3.3. .3. I'm going to select that, actually, 3.1.3. .3, and I'm going to save that, because I don't have it. So I'm going to hit save. And it's going to be downloading the SH, SH files. And this is actually very quick. I was surprised. Um, once I, I did it on 4.2.1. And then um, I did it on the computer to override it. And it didn't have it on my device because I override it. But um, you guys shouldn't run into that problem. I ended up restoring anyway because I had to make a jailbreak video. So it's just downloading this SH, SH file. Straight, it's grabbing it straight from Cydia itself. Um, and actually, how this works is it grabs from Cydia your files and your backed up files and stuff like that, and then sends it back to Sorik, which is the creator of um, Cydia. And it's saved actually in your own personal Cydia, which is cool. So, okay, and it worked. So now I have 3.1.3 .3 saved. And that's pretty much it guys, so if uh, you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Sorry it was a little long, I wanted to give a descriptive uh, review so you guys understand. If you have any questions, please leave comments below, please subscribe to my channel, and uh, hopefully check out my other vlog channel. Thanks for watching.